a new guy that's finally in the MVP talks is Joel Embiid, Caleb. Right now, he's averaging 29.3 points a game, 10.5 rebounds, 2.5 assists, 1.3 steals, and one block shot a game. 55% from the field, and he's shooting almost 40% from three, 85% from the free throw line. These are all super efficient stats. The Sixers right now are sitting at 18 and seven, top of the East in a year where a lot of people didn't expect them to be the top of the East, given the fact that you got Brooklyn, Boston, Miami, Toronto. They're all good teams. And I think Joel Embiid has figured out kind of how to win and play at the most elite level. Now, I will say he has been a lot more healthy this year, and he's been out only four games. And in all four games, Caleb, they have lost. The Sixers have 18 wins right now, all of them with Embiid. They haven't won a game without him, and they've only lost two games when he has played. So I don't know. How do you argue against him right now? He's my favorite. I would say he's my favorite right now, especially out of the three that we listed, but... I'm happy for him. I've always liked Embiid. I know as a Celtics fan, that's kind of a frowned upon thing, but I've always enjoyed watching him play. Um, I, I don't know, man. It just seems like bigs get a lot of hate. They don't really like to vote for bigs for this kind of award. They like to do the all around guys, but Embiid's averaging pretty much 30 and 10. And they, and just like you mentioned, they need him to win. Like they can't win without him. And, and, you know, by the definition, most valuable player, a lot of people associate that with he makes the biggest impact on his team. Well, when you can't win without a player and he's averaging 30 and 10, how can you really argue against him? He has him sitting at first in the East right now. And I know for a fact, nobody expects him to be first in the East. So when you look at that, it's kind of hard to argue against him. He's like I said, he's my voting favorite right now. I don't know. How do you feel about him? Well, I want to play devil's advocate for a minute and you answer for me right here. Okay. I'm going to go through their schedule. And this is something I noticed last night, Caleb, and I wanted to bring it up to you. You tell me which of these games is difficult. And I'm not saying that just because it's an easy team or just because it's a hard team that they should have won or should have lost, but I just want to go through it. So Washington, just give me, just give me an easy or hard Washington. Easy. The Knicks. Easy. The Raptors. Easy. Orlando. Easy. Charlotte, twice. Easy, easy. Washington. Easy. Brooklyn. Pretty hard in. I'm going to put them in. Can I put medium? Can there be like a... Okay. Well, while you do say medium, I will say that they did lose that game. Okay. Atlanta. Easy. They lost that game. Miami, Mm -hmm. twice. Did they have Jimmy Butler? No easy boston twice I, the fan of me wants to say hard or medium but i'm gonna say easy detroit twice well now detroit plays good teams very good for some reason so i'm gonna say medium the lakers hard minnesota easy indiana medium okay well i'll keep in mind that he didn't play in the game against indiana okay charlotte Easy. Portland. Easy. Well, medium, medium. Brooklyn. Medium. Sack. Did they have Harden in this game? Yes. Then hard. Sacramento. Medium. Okay. So you gave me about one hard team and two mediums. The two mediums you gave me, one of them they lost, and the other one they did win. So to me, again, I'm not here to say that these <laughs> – these wins don't count or that Embiid shouldn't be the MVP. I just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of a breakdown of how their schedule is. And maybe it it is an easy schedule, but we just have to keep that in mind. I think that this is a 72 game season. And and that's something that I just wanted to bring up. I I think at the end of the day, Embiid's playing really good, but you you do have to keep that in mind. See, but I don't like doing that argument only because they can only play who's, who's scheduled for that. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like they got to pick their schedule. But, yeah, I mean, they haven't really had the toughest schedule. But, again, I do think Doc Rivers is an upgraded coach over Brett Brown. So, we'll, we'll have to see playoff time because they've dominated regular seasons before. It just – Embiid, I think, is playing at a different level. No, I but will say that. It has to do with health. He stayed healthy. That's I will say this. I just wanted to bring that up because 
again, I was playing devil's advocate. I do still have Joel Embiid as my MVP favorite right now. I think with the way he's played, with the fact that they aren't able to win without him and have only lost two games with him, you said it yourself. They're only playing with who's in front of them, and, and they've done a good job. Yes, while there are, quote, easy games, no game in the NBA is technically easy. Scheduled wins are scheduled wins. Weaker records are weaker records, but you said it yourself. Detroit has the worst record in the NBA. They beat six out of seven playoff teams. So you got to give them credit.